Hey there! In this video, I'll show you how to configure the Specs Adapter 2 back support using the Profile Curvature System. In this example, we'll be configuring the back support for a client that presents with a lordotic posture, which is the primary design purpose of the Adapter 2. Accommodating the significant lordosis can be challenging, especially when you need to avoid excessive padding for clients susceptible to health conditions that are triggered by increases in temperature or sweating. The benefit of using the adaptive technology in these situations is that you can create a perfect solution but with less foam bulk. So before we start adjusting the back support, I want to show you a feature I love about the adapter range. The profile curvature system is positioned at the rear of the back support which allows for all adjustments to be made even while the client is seated avoiding the need to transfer out of the chair. I'm going to assume that you've already mounted or know how to mount the adapter to the chair, but if you'd like to know how to do this, we have a separate video. So, I've got the adapter 2 mounted to this chair. Now, because I'll be putting the back support into a lordotic configuration, I would typically want the central section to be a bit further forward from the wheelchair canes so that we have room for the bottom section to hinge back. So, I've chosen the forward dual mount hardware as this can extend forward a bit more than the standard dual mount. If extra foam is required to accommodate prominent spinous processes, we recommend the custom foam padding overlay, which will provide a more comfortable pressure relief experience for the user. Here at the back of the adapter 2, you can see the adapter points. The two different sections of the profile curvature system hinge to each other and are individually adjusted. Your adapter back support will come with these pieces of Velcro on the shell. These are here to make it easier to configure the profile curvature system while the upholstery is attached to the shell, and then you can remove them after you've finished configuring the back support. Configuring the system is simple. At the bottom adapter point, simply loosen these bolts here with a 5mm Allen key until it allows the component tree to slide in the slot. Now the lower section is loose, I will use the mounting hardware to position the central section in my desired position to support the lumbar to lower thoracic section of the spine. Now you can slide the bottom section to the position you want. In this case, I want to open the angle to relieve pressure on the pelvis. Once you have it in the position you need, you can tighten the bolts in place. Once tightened and positioned, you can be confident the profile curvature system will stay fixed in the desired configuration. Now that we've configured the aluminium shell, we can remove the strips of Velcro from the shell like so, and simply stick the Velcro sensitive upholstery onto the shell to secure it in place. And we sorted. There we have it. You have an adapter to that is suitable for a user that presents with a lordosis. As you can see, the flexibility means the system is extremely versatile and you have the peace of mind knowing that if the client's posture changes over time, you can simply readjust as required. Thanks for watching this video on how to configure the Adapter 2 back support. For more information on the range and to discover the benefits for yourself, visit our website or contact your nearest Specs distributor today.